Alright, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So I can switch the places of n and n. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, and I'm going to switch the places of 3 and x. So I get 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. Now, I'm going to let the variable u equal 2 to the power of x. So now, if I substitute in u for 2 to the power of x, I get u to the power of 3 plus u is equal to 30. And now I can subtract 30 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get u to the power of 3 plus u minus 30 is equal to 0. Now we have an equation here, and we need to find what value of u makes this equation equal to 0. So what I'm going to do to start is rewrite 30 as 27, negative 27 minus 3. And the reason I did this is because 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. Notice how we have something in the form u to the power of 3 plus u. We could think of u as 3 in this case. So 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. And we have this minus 3. Now I'm going to put this in the form u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 plus u minus 3 is equal to 0. So now I put this in parentheses real quick. If I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, this turns into u minus 3 times u squared plus 3u plus 9 plus u minus 3, which is equal to 0. And now, because both of these terms have a common factor of u minus 3, if I factor out u minus 3, I get u minus 3 times u squared plus 3u plus 9 plus 1 is equal to 0. And now from here, 9 plus 1 is 10, so I get u minus 3 times u squared plus 3u plus 10 is equal to 0. Now this gives me two equations. I get u minus 3 is equal to 0, and I get u squared plus 3u plus 10 is equal to 0. So u minus 3 equals 0. That's pretty easy to solve. All I have to do is add 3 on both sides and I get u is equal to 3. Now remember how we let u equal to 2 to the power of x, meaning 2 to the power of x is equal to 3. And now to solve this, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides, so I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 3. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 2 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 2 is equal to log 3. And now if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 3 over log 2. Now, log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771, and log 2 is equal to 0 0.301, meaning this is equal to 1.539. Meaning x is equal to 1.539. Now, going back over here, 
we have u squared plus 3u plus 10 equals 0. And let's use the quadratic formula to solve this. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 10. So I get u is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 10, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this gets me negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times 1 times 10, which is 40, all over 2, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 31 over 2. Now, the square root of negative 31, that's a negative number, so that doesn't work, meaning my only solution is 1.539.